In this video, we're just going to go through how to create borders and backgrounds on Apache OpenOffice spreadsheet. You can either go to a spreadsheet that you have previously saved somewhere on your desktop or in a file, or you can simply just open up a brand new spreadsheet, which is what I'm going to do here. So we go onto the OpenOffice icon, double click. It takes us into the main page for the OpenOffice apps, and we want to select spreadsheet and this takes us to the spreadsheet page. So I'm going to create a cell in the middle of the page here just for ease to show what effects the changes make to the borders and the backgrounds on a single cell. So firstly to select the cell to make sure that you're going to put the border where you want it you have to select the cell that is going to be changed. So we're going to do G8 so to select the cell you left click on the mouse button and we have this black line. Now you can see the black line looks like a border at the minute but this just actually signifies that this is the cell that is being selected. If we were to go somewhere else that border moves to a different position so there isn't actually a border on that cell at the moment. So we go back to G8 so we have our highlighted border here which isn't actually a border um, we want to change the border design so we can either right click on the mouse button and select format cells or we can go up to format on the top menu click on format and select cells and it opens up this menu so we want to go to the borders menu which is already selected so to start putting a border onto the single cell you have the default settings here and you just select the one that you would require so if we were to select the second one in and select the size of the border that we want this will give us the full border all the way around that single cell so we click OK and you can see we have our border the cell is completely surrounded by this border so we just click the back button and we bring up the menu again by highlighting the cell then right clicking bringing up this menu format cells so if you're wanting two lines at either end of your cell you would select this one two lines above or a line above and a line at the bottom of the cell or cross um, a cross in the cell then you would select this default setting here you have the option of doing a user defined so if you were just wanting a cell uh, a line to the right of the cell you would select this select the size select the line where you want it so we want it on the right edge of our cell and then we click OK and there we've just got the one line to the right of the cell Again, undo, open up, so let's highlight the cell, then right click, format cells, and you can select any design of line that you wish, so you've got the 250 point, you scroll down here, to grab the scroll bar, you Put the cursor on the scroll bar. The scroll bar is this rectangular box here. You left click on the scroll bar, then drag the mouse button down and the scroll bar will move down and it will show you, display you all these different lines. So we can select 7.5 and this is a double line, a double thick line border. So we were to select that, reset this, and say we just wanted uh, the border on the bottom we would select the bottom option and click OK and that gives us the bottom option click the back line now that is a single cell to manipulate multiple cells to put a border around multiple cells is just as simple really we just make we just go to the place where we want our complete board to go around a complete set of cells. So 
I will enlarge 2 and 3 and you just start off at the position where the top left where you want your border to start so you would select the cell by left clicking and then holding the mouse button you then drag the mouse across the cells that you want to highlight where you want your border to be so we're going to do A2 and 3 right to I2 and 3 then you release the mouse button you keep the mouse button in the shaded area you cannot move the mouse button to another area and then click on something else the shaded area will just disappear so you have to keep to keep this shaded area you cannot click the mouse anywhere outside this shaded area apart from the top menu if you were to click anywhere on this other area here on the actual spreadsheet then this highlighted area will disappear so to add a border to this again we just right click bring up the menu or you can go to format at the top here and format cells but we're just going to click on format cells and these now pertain the default settings here now pertain to this whole area that is selected so if we were to select this box here the second one in where the lines on the top the bottom the far left and the far right we click on that to highlight it we click OK it is only the lines around that whole area that was selected that uh, get the border the lines in the middle still remain unaffected to affect all these lines we'll just click the back button menu again that's left click so right click then format cells if you're wanting all these to make a grid effect you would select the fourth one in which is this one here select your size for your line then click OK and that gives you the grid effect back so format cells so to do a user defined setup again remember it's just the whole the whole grid that has been highlighted is affected by the changes that the user defined selection makes so if we were to select the bottom line we do a four point line this time and we were to do far right it is only going to be this bottom line and the far right that is going to be affected you click OK and you can see it's just that line that's affected there and the far right of the grid that was highlighted so we click back format cells so to, to make a full box in the cells that are selected we just go on to the second one in the default setting select our size we will change the color to orange click OK and we have our orange border now to change the color to the background you simply select the single cell that you want to change right click on the mouse button, format cells, go to background, select the colour and then click OK and you see it just changes that single cell. It's basically the same as doing the border when you want to do a complete selection of cells to change to the same colour. You start at the top left cell that you want to make the changes to in the background, you left click drag the mouse across all the cells that you want to change the colour to release the mouse button remembering not to go anywhere else and click on a blank space because the highlighted area will disappear but you right click and format cells we're still on background so we want to select blue click OK and that changes all the cells to that colour. These white lines here that you see that separate the cells in this grid 
these white lines don't actually show up on the final outcome of the printed object. Um, these are just to show you where the actual cells start and where they finish. So you won't actually get this in your print. When you actually come to print off your document, these white lines won't show up because they are basically just the cells. Um, it's just to show you where the cells are. Now I've showed you uh, how to do a, a bunch of cells across the top of your page. It's basically, if you want to do a column of cells similar to this, it's basically just exactly the same apart from you just select the cells starting from, again you start at the top left cell that you want to highlight where you want to start the changes to start from and you work your way down the page dragging the mouse towards the left. Whenever you get to the destination where you want to finish where your uh, column wants to be changed you just release the mouse button we have the highlighted area then we just right click in the shaded area format cells and we go to whatever design or wherever whatever line we want on our column our of our selected cells and we would if you want to do the whole just the the external border of the entire um, cell that we've selected we just click OK and there you can see we have our column and it's surrounded by our border and you just do this exactly the same thing for the background select right click format cells background color just select the color that you so require we'll go green this time click OK and there we have our column and you can see again the white lines these white lines here they are just the cell lines they are hidden lines they're just to show you where the cells start and begin sorry start and finish they won't actually show up on the, the printed item uh, when you actually come to print whatever document it is that is being printed off um, so basically that is the backgrounds and the borders and how to manipulate them in Apache OpenOffice. Hope this has helped.